Hello YouTube, today we're going to be reacting to the first place Salomon Great deck profile uh, that was in Richmond, Virginia featuring Sean Washington. So if you haven't checked it out, they posted it on the Ozone TCG YouTube channel, but we're going to be reacting to it. You guys know how much I love Salomon Great. I've gotten a couple of first place winner winnings with it, but at locals, not at, at regional. It's kind of insane that he was able to do it at regional. So. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys what I think of this profile. Okay, well, so. Let's just get straight into the deck profile. Yeah, all right, all right so we have the best card in the deck. Really? You don't One Gazelle, yeah. What sucks about this is that now Konami may look at this and be like, all right, we're not going to release Gazelle anymore because you guys will, this will get out of hand, right? Hopefully they don't think that. Hopefully they put Gazelle to two to three, but we'll see. I don't need to see the other 39 cards because this is literally the entire deck. Uh... Yeah, your entire hand. Yeah, it's, if you don't it's the main. This card or don't have a way to it, you lost. So cool. But, I agree. Yeah, this card's everything. It's God. Uh, two fire. Uh, this is a new one. This is just lay debug, but it says salad in the name, so it's really good. Uh, the graveyard effect is actually really relevant because it stops your opponent from making Zeus and just killing you. Yeah, are y'all kissing? What's it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised it's only playing two of it. That card is actually kind of insane. Uh, just with that card alone. You can get to the link four and then you can like relink the link four, which is kind of insane. Um, it's searchable by uh, the quick play, right? So, so it's just also searchable by Sonic Mining. It can get you to Gazelle, so it's pretty good. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, this just means more copies of Gazelle. This is also a one card combo to get to like Gazelle with a trap card of your choice, which is yeah. what the deck really needed. So the new card's good? Yeah, very good. I would play three, but I couldn't get a third one in time for the event. Oh, okay. He couldn't uh, get the third one, so copies yeah. Of Gazelle. This card searches Gazelle. That's the only purpose. Yeah, mandatory. Uh, the quick play is mandatory. Sign three sign and manning. Gazelle and trigger the effect of Gazelle. Uh, okay. So in total, I play nine copies of Gazelle, like hard one. Card I've, I've always had a love-hate relationship with sign and mining because people are playing Droll so much this format, but I guess in Salomon Great, you don't really i mean i guess you do care because it means that now you won't be able to have access to your field spell which is not mandatory because gazelle dumps so you can just send like the trap card or something uh but it does play into droll really hard and, and if they ask you, you you go minus minus one basically so yeah bro map is my passion <laughs> for my salads <laughs> I play three foxes. Let me see. He's uh, three foxes. There's okay. really no reason to play three when I can just play the third copy of this, but I just didn't have one, so I played three. Mm. Uh, it's level three, so with the addition of three uh, spiny, I <laughs> three spiny. <laughs> I can overlay both of these together to make. Yeah, I mean it's good versus floodgates. You know, like if people flip, like uh, I don't know, there can only be one on you. It's pretty good to have Foxy, right? Or if you, people flip like anti spell fragrance, it's pretty good. Um, I'm surprised he's playing three. I haven't seen people play three like in years, right? Like people usually just play one tops, like uh, so. It's pretty insane. He's playing three. Stalia, which summons gazelle for my deck, <laughs> and that's why he's first place in and not on top at regionals. <laughs> so so, do you think if you had three of the new one and only two of the Fox, you would have gone undefeated? No, Flu is OP. Uh, Van Robin, up, please. Oh, okay, I'll go, of course. <laughs> wow, don't, 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 don't talk smack about Robina like that. Come on, you know I love Flounderies. Don't. I mean, Flounderies is pretty insane against Salomon Great <laughs> or against any like Link monster, basically. But wow, I gotta yeah, trash my to go. I'm so Robina. I'm very. So that was your only actual challenge today, right? Flew on I mean, there's some other decks, like... Um... There were other decks. <laughs> I'm sure there were. I'm uh, sure there were. Two Jack Jaguars. This is just so you don't get cucked by Desires. And one Falco. This is the card. He's playing Falco. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people cut Falco. Maybe he's playing like a rank four in his extra deck. Because you kind of do need Falco if, you, if you're going to make like a Bagushka or, or a Dweller or something like that. Uh, this is a new one, Weasel. Oh, okay, he's playing Weasel. Uh, it's okay. like a Ghetto Extender. I search it like usually like turn three. And then uh, this is how you get over like ignorant shit like Borland. 
Uh, since you can't actually, like, out Borla, and you have to, like, resort to cheese tactics, so this card, uh, can put a card on their field, and then you make, like, a gigantic access code and attack over twice, and it's game, but, uh, mm, yeah, okay, he that makes sense. played me today, so that was cool. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just... One weasel, okay. I think that card is May, honestly. I wonder if he's playing any synchros with it. It's a we'll draw, see. and it's also level 3, so you can make Stalia, which gets the gazelle. You know. Yeah, the fact uh, that it's three is pretty useful. Three buffer low. Or two, sorry. Two buffer low. Okay. <laughs> this <laughs> should have been, <laughs> been a third fire. Um, Judge? We're gonna like up to speed here. Uh, this card's pretty cool. Um, it's all three, so it can get the stallion. If you need to. If you need to. Yeah, because he has four normal summons, two of the new fire Salamon Great normal summon, and two uh, Mirage Stallion. So, kind of don't. You have to have as a low amount of normal summons in your deck as possible, right? Because otherwise you start breaking if you open multiples of it, so... Field spell, mandatory. One will. I like the fact that he's running the trap cards. I've seen a lot of people cut the trap cards and I'm like, why would you cut the trap cards? They're insane, they're recyclable. Pop multiple, Omni negate, like it's insane. You have to run the trap cards and will have to run will. Uh, with the new cards though, these cards have gotten so much better actually. This card especially, this is a pop four now on off one card combo, so Gazelle yeah, just gives you everything. It's crazy. <laughs> no. Um, for my defensive, I played three Ash. Three Ash. Uh, I think Ash is like an honorary Salamon Grade monster. I mean, it's level three. It's fire. You can recycle it with Wolf. So it's, uh, you have to be, it's mandatory in every f uh, salad list. Beer, okay. Fun fact, I've seen this card more times than I got nib today, and I lived all at once. Mm -hmm. This should not have been my main deck, I'll be real. I played this <laughs> only early, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, three Imperium, this card was cool though, very good. In short, this should be something else, like a level three extender to get to a gazelle. I think that's probably better. Uh, three Book of Moons, <laughs> this is the Stop Pearly and Kashtira. These are in my Arise art outs, by the way, I'm not playing tier, so I can actually play Arise art outs. Um, okay. Yeah. This is. I wonder what you do if you get shifter. Like, what is his end goal? Does he play something like, like Bagushka, so he can like summon like an extra level four, with Will. Well, Just to make sure that you out. I guess Book of Moon is a way to play around yeah. shifter. <laughs> I should have main deck mistake and arrest you, right? Sure. <laughs> Cross out designator Ravina, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's alright. You land the winner. Two desires and one call by the grave. Uh, why the unnecessary Robina hate? Come on. He's saying cross out designator and play one Robina. <laughs> I mean Robina is I mean Robina's a pretty good card, let's be honest. Desires mandatory. You have to play desires and salad. These are good cards. Is that the forty cards? Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. That's forty. Uh that was three buffalo, right? Yeah bro. Uh I played three semi wolf. <laughs> oh, he has the ghost rare. Pretty, pretty nice. Congrats, dude. The ghost rare looks sexy. Sunlight Wolf, you have to play wolf. through it. Uh, <laughs> this card's still like, it's pretty good, but you don't end on it anymore, so it's kind of awkward. You don't relink it that much anymore unless you get to like game states where you're just looping these now. But uh, you just almost always end on like four, and that card is cool because it's made off just Gazelle, so cool. Uh, three Bailnix. Um, three, you have to play three, yeah. Let's see what this guy, this card's pretty cool. Uh, oh, I love the new Link 4. Being able to search whatever you need is so insane. Plus, if you have Will plus a relinked one, you can summon up to four. Insane. When you relink it, you get to add any solid spawn trap card. So off just gazelle, you can add a raider roller off of it or a circle if you're playing around certain things like pearly, you can make an anima. So you can just grab circle. Um the neat thing about it is if you relink it, one of them stays in the graveyard, so when they eventually out this because everyone in their mothers outs this card, uh, it just comes back and it's really big. And that's what Salad needed, just a card that is big. <clears throat> yeah. And a way to like play when you open all salad cards. Yeah, the fact that it's a it's a Salamon great card, it's pretty pretty insane. Cause yeah, yeah, you can do some pretty cool plays with your field spell as well. With uh will with everything right with rage imagine popping four kind of insane right uh one stallio stallio yeah uh, and what do you, how do you use that which one what do you use stallio for oh this this is a good gazelle yeah oh okay yeah just so you're not confused. if you don't know how how salamon gray works let me just summarize it for you gazelle right mirage stallio gazelle signing manning gazelle everything else equals gazelle if you have access to gazelle you win right that's kind of how the deck works I know it's really hard, but okay. Okay. Um, I guess like, it's a lot now at this point. Splash Mage. Splash up Mage, up the jammer. Trash code. Trash code. Oh, he's playing the one uh, Cyber's monster, okay. 
So he's not playing Link Reaver, which is kind of insane. Like, Link Reaver's crazy going into stuff like trap decks that they don't see it coming, right? They're like, oh, they forget about Link Reaver, and now you have a trap card negate. Uh, let's see what he's running this. This came up a lot today. Um, when you use this to make your Heat Soul Trans Code, mm -hmm. it comes back, and then it basically gives you, like, a guaranteed access code. Uh, the neat thing is, if you don't use the effect, though, you can have a Dark Monster for this, which is neat. But it's, it's cool because you get game states like... Yeah. This is a monster, pretend this is. Uh, this this is like 3300, and this counts as the extra body. It's really cool. Cool. How many times did you summon Rage in the Monster Zone? Oh, I, I did a lot, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, my magical hat stack. In order to, <laughs> in order to get to Gazelle. Yeah, I yeah, gotcha, yeah. Okay, I get it. So he's, he's basically guaranteeing that he has like an access code, basically. Okay. Okay, so it's just like an additional body that can get you to access code, so... Uh, yeah. access code this mm -hmm. is just when gazelle is angry he gets access code into the game. i'm so glad that we can play one access code i i did not like the days when uh mind hacker was still legal and you had to play like two access codes two update jammers i did not like that one access code is just so so clutch right now you know it is for my side deck i played three draw uh, i'll get to that in a second three dimensional barrier i Mm -hmm. Only use this round one for Spurly because I won all the other times and uh, it's pretty good. And then... The beer is insane nowadays, honestly. Like, if you have to be playing it against Pearly. I feel like Droll has slowly become almost like the maxi of the TCG. Like, everybody has it on their main deck or side deck because against decks like, I don't know, Manadium or Synchron, you need those Drolls, right? So, and three evenly match. Uh, I actually never resolved this card once. Every time I open this card, I open three of it or two of it. It was kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about this card, but it's whatever. Um, I said I could really like Luster this week. I could have probably change that a lot. Uh, three Dark Road No More. This is like the best combo in your deck if you open this and await a Gazelle. So, like, like this. <laughs> if you Dark Road them. Sean, would you say that you would change your Nibiru Dark Road Dark Road? Yeah, maybe. Probably. Yeah, your combo is with this. You just Dark Road them. Normal summon this, and then they just scoop. That's oh. so sick. It's crazy. <laughs> that would be kind of annoying. You're playing against a Salomon Grey player, and then, like, Dark Ruler. Normal summon because they're always like, all right, let's wrap this up because <laughs> that's full combo, right? Um, yep. Easy attack, it's crazy. Like, they actually just lose. Can we get the combo tutorial? I don't know the yeah, I got you. I'll do it after the video, don't worry. Uh, okay. And then my last three cards in the side deck were MVP were uh, Kuri Kara. I had to give them back, but it's a fire effect monster. And it's 3k usually when you drop it, so that means that you can actually, like, clear over, like, was it, uh, Warfighter Pass? That's what I call it. And then you get the randomly bring back monsters, but that's not really relevant because what's the space locks you. Uh, and Yeah, it locks you into space. fires, yeah. Those cards exist, I guess. Which sucks. It, it really does suck. I wish it, it only locked you into effects from non-fire. Like, if it prevents you from using non-fire attribute effects, but it actually locks you from special summoning anything but fire, which kind of sucks because uh sometimes you want to make like i don't know i don't know just random things and you're like i wish i wasn't fire locked yeah uh i guess since i'm here i'll just do the short combo real quick off just one card uh so if you just open this i see the one card sign at mining combo yeah <laughs> <laughs> i get that right. you he gets gazelle uh you turn this into a bail links let me just pretend this is here Sorry. uh bail links uh one two this gets him you get Sanctuary to your hand. Gazelle is going to dump a card, so you're going to dump my boy Spiny. What oh, is Spiny? Yeah. Spiny effect. Spiny uh, going to Mirage the Stalio. Horse. The horse effect will summon. Especially when I Jack Jack work. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I play multiple copies. Don't just call me out on it. Uh, these two become a Sunlight Wolf. Got to make sure. Mm -hmm. Flex on them for a little bit. Uh, Jack Jaguar will shuffle this back. Summon this. This will add back Gazelle. And then you turn this back into Bail Mix. You turn all these guys into your boy Raging Phoenix. Relink it. Summon another Raging Phoenix. Rage of Phoenix adds any of the trap cards of this, and then off one card you have Gazelle in here for next turn, uh, pop four, and then if they somehow out this through a bail effect, uh, you have this to come back. If they ever throw in a Zeus, uh, the neat thing about Zeus, uh, so this combo actually beats Zeus, uh, if this card's in graveyard and they kind of battle the XYZ monster, you can banish it, and since the monster didn't go to damage calculation, uh, since your monster gets destroyed, uh, it doesn't count as actually having battled the monster, so they can't Zeus, and then you also get back the other one. So, I did a few OTKs this game, or this tournament, where I uh, attack with like a smaller monster to summon this guy back uh, after popping it with a Chi Chi or whatever his name is. And then, yeah, it's all doable thanks to Gazelle, so. And obviously, yeah, Dark Road okay. Gazelle, so. That's awesome. Yeah. Any uh, last shout outs before we end the deck profile? Uh, shout out to the Silent Great Hentai server. It was great. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, congratulations, Sean. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. I, I actually do 
hope that people start picking up Salamagrate. Maybe Toss Format will make a comeback. Maybe Engage will come back to three. Hardcore will get on ban, and Gazelle will get a semi or unlimited, and we can we can have the glory days back. You know, I I see. Look at the smile on this guy's face, right? That's a smile of somebody that's happy. But when you when you see somebody that plays like a, a meta, like a pearly deck, they're like kind of like frowning and all sad. And they're like, oh, I guess I won, but at what cost, right? My happiness. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that was the Salomon Greek list, guys. Enjoy.